My last video did pretty good, so I decided to make another one. And now that there's the new update that came out, I decided, why not? Anyway, as always, if you guys don't agree with the things, uh, just put them down in the comments section below. Tell me ideas that you have. I could feature them in a future one of these videos. Make sure to like and subscribe and join the Discord because I have that. And you will have a shout out in the Discord if you join it. Alright, anyway, let's get into the video. Boom! Alright, so the first thing that I think Lemming should add to Gorilla Tag, a mini games mode. Now, no, 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 it's not the type of mini games that you may think. You may be thinking like, oh, it's a monkey on the shelf mode or some other type of mode. Well, not exactly. There's a bunch of mini games, and kind of like in Fall Guys, it randomizes mini games. And each round you get like a different mini game. Some ideas for mini games that I have, one is called Fireflies, and it is a mini game where there are a bunch of fireflies around the map, flying around the map, and your goal as a team or as an individual is to try to collect the most amount of fireflies. And whoever collects the most is the winner at the end. One may be Capture the Flag, where your goal as a team is to capture the other team's flag. Who knows, maybe like actual paintball with like actual guns. Just a bunch of different mini games that are too small to be actual game modes, but just a fun little way to get random mini games and just have fun with your friends. That was the longest one, but let's move on to thing number two, bananas, just bananas. Uh, I just feel like it would add to the game to add little bananas hanging, little bananas hanging from the trees. Cause after all, it is a monkey game. And I feel like it would just add some more to the forest map. Thing number three. This is a picnic bench, right? And, well, what's a picnic bench if it's completely empty? Since it's a picnic bench, I feel like there should be food. Maybe also like a cloth? But you know, if there was food on this, I feel like it would add a lot more. Maybe if you like slapped, like, like if there was a sandwich and you slapped it, it would like spray out some stuff or something. It doesn't have to be interactable, just a cool detail. Also opens up a lot of opportunities for like role play and stuff. Number four is just hand items. Adding a little thing onto here, hands. So not things that you hold in your hands, but things that are on your hands. Examples could be gloves, rings. Also that could include like wrist items like watch, bands. This may not be the greatest of ideas, but I feel like it would just be kind of cool. Just add a little more to the monkey. All right, next up we have another game mode here, and that would be a sports game mode. Picture this, a basketball. And it could like randomize the sports, or like you could choose different sports or something. Basketball goals. There could be random basketballs, j basketball goals just sitting like there, maybe like one there, just sitting randomly around the map. Or there could be two basketball goals on either side, and there's two teams. Regardless, you would have a ball, and you would try to shoot it, kind of like in Rec Room, and that would give you a point, and whoever had the most amount of points, whether it be the team with the most amount of points, or the player at the end of the time would win. It could also be baseball, where like there's different bases around the map, and you have a bat, and you try to, the other person throws the ball, and you try to hit it. Or a soccer, where you either like, hit it across the ground to hit it into the goal, or you use your body to kick it into the goal. I don't know, I feel like this is a bit bizarre, but I feel like it would add a lot to the game and would make it just really, really fun. Next thing would be another thing to add to the forest map, somewhere around here, maybe add to one of these, but quests. Quests would be things like tag 10 players, or win five rounds, or hit five people in paintball, tag certain amount of people in hunt. I don't know, I just feel like it would give you more things to do throughout the game. Little quest board to complete these different quests and try to like just make your way through all of the quests. I feel like a lot of times in Gorilla Tag I feel a little bit bored and I don't know what to do, so I, instead of going on to an another game, could finish your daily quests or finish some weekly quests or there could be like different quests like daily weekly and you could finish those and then once you're finished with those you could just enjoy the game and then once you got bored of the game you could eventually get off but i feel like it would just give you more to do all right next up has to do with the mountains map next summer i was already thinking this for this summer but they didn't end up doing it. Summer's warm. And what happens to snow 
What happens to the snow in the summer? It melts. I feel like this map should melt. But this map could melt and turn into a water park map. These melt down, turn into slides. There could be slip and slides. These could become water slides. You could swim around. Possibly some sand added to make like a beach. So I just feel like it would add a lot of fun to the game and changing up the map would make a lot of people more excited and a lot of people play the mountains map a lot and it just doesn't make sense to have this still be frozen up during summer all right thing number eight gorilla tag tournaments a lot of games have like tournaments and in those games tournaments you compete in those tournaments to get rewards real life rewards whether it be money gift cards Stuff like that. Well, I just feel like it would be fun to have tournaments maybe like every two months or monthly and just have little prizes for first, second, and third in the tournaments. Who knows, maybe Lemming doesn't have to spend money but instead could make it like, oh, this person decides cosmetics for the next season or this person gets like a shout out for a whole month on here or whatever. I feel like this would make this game a lot more competitive and would get players just like playing it, like get players on the game and give players a reason to start practicing and playing the game more. I just feel like if since Gorilla Tag has about a million players, I feel like that would be really fun. Alright, coming in at thing number nine, we have a new report option and that would be camping. I feel like camping has been very obnoxious throughout the game. There are kids in lobbies in the battle game mode, running away and camping, just sitting underneath here, waiting for them to win the round. Maybe if this feature was added, it could also come with like rewards given to them, to people for uh, winning as Lava Monkey. Cause I feel like it doesn't really matter to win as Lava Monkey. Like it's just like, oh, Wow, I won. If you added that camping thing, you could actually give rewards to people because it'd be bad for the players that um, camp and re rewards the players who actually play the game correctly. Also, a quick thing, um, going back to the quests, rewards for the quests, like if you completed the quests, all the quests you would get like a certain reward. Maybe there could be like a whole new currency you to buy cosmetics. All right, coming in at thing number 10, the final thing added to the game. I don't have a PC. I want one, but I don't have one. And well, the only way to get custom maps is through a PC. If you see where I'm getting here, custom maps are very cool and I would very much love to have a custom map or multiple. So custom maps just being added to the regular game. This would make Lemming be able to add more maps without having to create more maps. I feel like it would be a lot more fun to have all these maps. But yeah, these were 10 more things that Lemming should add to Gorilla. Let me know down below what's your favorite one in the comments. And if you have other things, my favorite and the thing that I would want the most would probably be the mini games game mode. Also, the custom maps one is pretty far up there too. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you do enjoy. Join the Discord, and without further ado, thank you all for watching. See you guys in the next video. Peace!